This is a video of uh, Visio 2010 layers, which are one of the most uh, useful features in Visio. The first things I like to do in working with layers is uh, to go and uh, customize my toolbar a little bit. Uh, we're going to go to uh, Options, and then we're going to look on the uh, quick, look at the Quick Access Toolbar. And we want to look here at um, commands that are not in the ribbon. And we're going to scroll down to uh, layer, and we're going to add that. Okay. Now you'll see that uh, up at the top of the screen, we've added a little bar there, which will give us information about our layers. Uh, now we're going to put a few objects in here. And, uh, uh, really short of shapes. Okay, now uh, we're going to assign these uh, shapes to layers. And the first thing that we need to do in doing that is to set up some layer properties and establish some layers. We give that a name. And another one. And one more. And we use an optional feature here to distinguish these, make it a little easier to see what we're doing in the drawing, and to give them some colors. Uh, pretty easy here. Apple is a default color of red. And then I'm going to uh, do bananas. And here I've got yellow, but uh, I don't know. That yellow is a little bit hard to see with the background, so I'm going to go and modify that yellow just a little bit. I like the color, but I want to make it just a little darker. Okay. And I want to do oranges. And there I see an orange color. Well, it's not quite the one I wanted. So maybe I can take that orange over there. Yeah, I like that one a little better. Okay. So that gives me the... Uh, three layers I want to work with. And uh, now I'm going to assign these objects to layers. Select the object. Go here to that tool and add. And it's going to be apples. That one is going to be oranges. And this one here doesn't look much like it, but this one is a banana. Now you uh, could probably notice that the only colors that are being affected here by the color selection for the layers is the lines uh, around the outside. I'm going to go and uh, make my lines a little heavier, make it a little easier to see these. And uh, now I have uh, three objects that are assigned to layers. Uh, we'll go back here to layer properties. Now we can see. Uh, it shows uh, these three objects, and I'm going to go and show you how we would like change the visibility of that. So I'm going to turn off the apples, apply that, and see how that works. Or I could turn them back on. I'm going to uh, make a copy, just sort of move it over, hold down the control key. And I've got two of those oranges. I'm going to go back here to my layer properties. Now you can see I'm showing two objects in that oranges layer. Now um, one thing that uh, these are really useful for is um, aside from controlling uh, what things you want to show in your drawing or not is occasionally uh, you might want to use a background uh, to set apart certain objects in a drawing. Uh, Visio 2010 offers a a new way to do that with containers, but if you want something a little more flexible in design, I like to close that. So I'm going to do that one more time. Now that 
things yet. And I'm going to take this object and uh, send it to the back so that we can see the one other objects. And then I'm going to assign it to a layer, or I'm going to create a layer for it. And then this one is going to be backgrounds. See that we can't select it once we're in this. So we'll go out here and choose this, and now this is a background layer. Let me give it a little bit of uh, fill. I'm going to take a line away from it. Now, uh, one of the problems with this, it helps to set apart certain parts of the drawing, but uh, it makes it difficult in terms of working with the shapes because you go to pick a shape up, like let's say I want to do a couple, and I've just gone and grabbed this whole background. So what we'd like to do here is go to the layers, uh, and here we want to lock uh, that particular layer of the background. So I'm going to do that. Now we can go and select anything we want because uh, we've locked the background layer so it won't uh, accidentally get selected. Uh, again, you can do some of that uh, type of thing with containers in uh, Visio 2010. That would be subject for another video. And the last thing we want to do here is show how we can select uh, by type. And here we will be going and uh, selecting by layers. and. I'm going to uh, select the oranges. You see how that's selected in front. Now this can be very useful if um, you want to select uh, a lot of objects in a drawing and you could have you know, 100 objects in a layer. And once you've selected them, you can do the same thing to a number of them. For instance, uh, I might go and uh, change all these to have dash lines. So that's uh, something that the layers make it very easy to do. So it can be very useful. And uh, basically, that's um, how we do uh, layers in Visio 2010.